Okay, all right. And boom, double kill, bro. Okay, close range. Hit my healing. Okay, Titan Slayer. Let's hit my healing too. A little bit of increased speed, healing, triple kill. We are going to try with the massive Raven rework buff. Plus, try with the new Ether Titan for real this time on the test server. So, we have four Ravens loaded up. And notice in the description, they do not mention anything about stealth. That's because Pixonic, as they said, they want to add it as a legendary pilot. But there's no pilots on the test server. So, we're just going to try it out attached to the robot. But it wouldn't be part of the robot. It would be a legendary pilot skill, kind of like the Mary Leclerc Mender. So, we have a bunch of different builds loaded up here on the Raven. And I want to see how these builds work. We also have the buffed rockets on that one Raven build that I want to try. But here's the Ether, all right? Two assaults, one universal, and one defense. Or is it two universal? They have two alpha slots, one beta. We have Basilisk and Crate loaded up. And this thing, as it appears and sounds like, is a giant Seraph robot. So two universal, two assault. Let's see how this thing goes. Let's do it. Okay, we are here on Power Plant Deathmatch. Team Deathmatch. So let's use our Ravens first and see if we can charge up the Ether and then use that as well. All right, so here is our Rocket Raven. It's actually kind of cool that our Raven skin matches the Rocket weapon color. So I guess that's kind of a little bit neat. Oh, there's a Seraph. Seraph's dad. Okay. All right, all right. We just ate damage. But notice, look at our stealth. We just hit that ability and we got the stealth. That is awesome. Again, okay, so it's six seconds. It is a six... Boom, kill. Man, those rockets still seem very powerful. Okay, oh, there's a ra enemy Raven. Pe everyone knows about the Raven rework. Rework, buff, whatever you want to call it, man. Bro, look at that damage. That damage. Okay, we ran out of ammo, but... Okay, look. Six seconds of stealth, plus we still get that damage boost when we hit our ability. Okay, all right. And... Boom, double kill. Bro, these rockets are still way too strong. These are level eight rockets on a Raven. That It shouldn't be that powerful on the test server. I can only imagine what, the, what they're going to be like. Um, on the live server maxed out. Okay, six seconds of stealth. Man, that's crazy. Six step. It's six full seconds of stealth every time we hit our jump. And what's the ability cooldown on the Raven? I guess we'll see in a sec. Hold on. Okay, chewing him up. Man, we're just chewing him up. And every time we get in trouble, we can just hit our stealth. Oh, we just. We're eating rockets now. All right. Another Raven. He's eating rockets. Okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, he's, he's in his stealth now. Okay, hold on. And take... Okay, somebody else took him up. We're at 12 to 4 here. Our Ether is charging up here as well. Oroshi? Oh, this Oroshi. You think you're the only one who has stealth? Now we have stealth too, bro. Now we have stealth too. So what is it, like 13 seconds? It's a Hades? Man, these rockets are way too powerful. Okay, let's switch out of this build and try a different build because we might be getting skewed data. Another kill. Man, these jaw are way too powerful. Dial back the damage more picks on it. Please. Okay, here's our Sonic Raven. So I think the, the ability cooldown is like 13 seconds per jump on the Raven. So every 13 seconds, you get a six second stealth period, which is massive. Six second stealth for every 13 second jump? That seems like a lot. Oh, he got us. Okay, we're in stealth now. Okay, see, that's a perfect example. If we didn't have the stealth there, we probably would have just died. Because we would have just kept eating damage. You know, with the current Raven pilot, we get a little bit extra durability or defense points, but you don't get stealth. Oh, these Spectre Turan. They, they forgot to switch out their base hangar on the test server. Because you start with a Spectre Turan. Uh-oh. Reading damage. Okay, we're in stealth now. Another example. We went into stealth. The stealth just saved us last second. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. All right. Cheese McNuggets. Ah, and we went down. Okay. Um, is our Titan charged up yet? Okay, let's charge up our Ether really quick and then drop in the Ether. <laughs> Notice this build. We have, a, we have Magnetar and Fainter. I'm not sure how this build is going to perform here. 600 meter range, though. The fainter really don't... Okay, hold on. Actually, before I jump to conclusions here, 
Let's see. Oh, enemy team is dropping in their ethers now. Enemy team is dropping in their ethers. Okay, look, there it is. Man, that thing is fast in the sky. Okay, locked him down. That is a fast moving flying titan. All right. Ooh, okay, that's not a ton of damage. Man, the Fainter really aren't that powerful in the test server compared to, like, the live server. You guys have seen them maxed out, and they're crazy. Okay, locked down. Uh-oh. Whoa, look at that damn... Bro, our last name is triggered. Yikes. Okay, six seconds of stealth. All right, you know what? Let's just drop it our ether now. Um, let's switch this thing now. Let's see how this goes. Okay, first time using it. With our damage controller plus an anti-control, we have 432,000 HP. So that's our one, um, what's it called again? You guys fixed my pronunciation yesterday. Vigor? Igor? Igor. I think it's Igor. Igor like that Disney character. Is that, is that a thing? Igor? <laughs> or, alright. Whoa, okay, we're flying, we are flying. We're up in the sky, that's a Favnir. We're eating zero damage pretty much right now. And, boom, Okay. And then a kill. So on the way down, we can eat damage. We're only safe going on the way up. The ability doesn't seem like it lasts for a very long time. I forgot to look at the duration of the stats. Okay, we're hitting our healing right now. That's kind of weird. So when we hit that ability, that Igor or Vigor ability, we get a speed boost, but it's very little. Pixonic doesn't specify these... Double kill doesn't specify the details. Of all the stats, because it's so early on the test server. But we're speeding up in healing. But I noticed the healing, but not as much the speed. But maybe it's better that way. Okay, I think that's game. That is game. Alright. So that's game one. I want to get... I want to use the uh, ether a little bit more. So let's see if we can charge it up a little bit faster in the second game. And we got our wicked 1.5 million damage, or just under. So let's get into game two. And guys, also, make sure you... Fill out the test server feedback form so Pixonic knows what to adjust. Alright, let's go game two. Okay, castle map. Castle map. Um, let's start with our homing bullet, Raven. 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 I was going to say Ravana. I'm like, no, that is a different robot. Alright, here we go. Man, I'm actually really happy this is happening. I've been waiting. I think we've a lot of us have been waiting a long time for a Raven buff. And this is a Raven buff. Hopefully, I agree with you guys though. Hopefully, this skill, the pilot skill, should be a trade-off. So you only lose a bit of durability if you get the stealth. It shouldn't be like, oh, they're just going to nerf the Raven, then also add the pilot. Okay, that Orochi made it to center. Okay, Angler, we're shredding him up. Shredding him up. He's got rockets. He can't do anything to us. We are out of range, and he cannot touch us. You are a cheeseburger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guy just jumped off the map. He accidentally just ran right off the map. Kill, there we go. That's kind of jokes. He kind of just flew off the map. What a dork. What a cheese niblet. Okay, we're in center. We're grabbing center beacon. So like I said, every 13 seconds, we get a six second stealth period, which seems like amazing. Oh, we're melting him. He cannot hit us. Oh, we are. We don't have another charge, though. Yikes. Okay, boom. Double kill. Okay, trigger last stand. And use our orbital strike. Okay, okay. We're chilling. We're chilling. Down to 55,000 HP. Okay, we're pushing their enemy spawn here. I might have got too aggressive. Oh, I'm going down. I'm going... Oh, okay, I went down. All right. What's our... Our ether's almost... Actually, it is charged up. You know what? Let's drop in... Let's try with this Raven rocket build one more time, then we'll go Ether. Okay, what is it? It's 350 for these bad boys. Nope, nope, messed up. And boom, easy kill on the Behemoth. Easy kill. I love that there's no drone shielding on the uh, test server, or this test server anyways. Bro, that's a shell bot, and we're just chewing through his shields in stealth. Okay, there we go, double kill. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but remember, when we go into jump now, we'll get stealth plus the damage boost. That's two boosts. Okay, he triggered last stand. We go into stealth and get more damage. I think it's 20%. 
Oh, he's just out of range. He's just out of range. Okay, I could push their beacon, but I think there's a behemoth there too. I want to take down this guy. Yeah. Oh, we're low health. Ooh, okay, 16,000 HP. Okay, let's move toward this beacon a little bit. We're frozen. Oh, a Seraph's coming at me. I want to kill the behemoth. Yes, triple kill. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Uh-oh. Oh, bro. Th that shouldn't have counted. My stealth was triggered. He killed me. It was delayed. Okay, um, let's drop this thing in. Ether time. Man, on the ground, it's actually pretty slow. I mean, once again, it's not max level, so we can't tell how fast it's going to really be. Oh, there's an ether. He's got, um, what is that? Dazzler Lantern build. That could be an effective build. Actually, I don't know. Pixonic didn't specify either. That's a that's a Seraph there. What? Okay, what is the range on the built-in weapon for this ether? They did not say what it was. I'm gonna guess it's 500 meters. Same as the Seraph. There we go. Remember, don't we have an EMP ability? Where's that EMP? Oh man, I forgot to. I didn't do my my detective work. Is there, isn't there supposed to be an EMP ability attached to, like, the laser? Okay, let's get behind cover. Yeah, I haven't seen this EMP yet. I have not seen this EMP. Okay, we're going up. We're at gravity amped. Guys are really loading up gravity amps in the test server. Okay, we're going up. I'm telling you, I gotta check this description. Maybe I'm an idiot and I just forgot to look. But I thought there was an EMP, but I'm not seeing it whatsoever. I haven't got hit by it and I haven't... Uh-oh, we're getting attacked here. Okay, great bass. Let's, let's shred this guy. These weapons... Do a, we broke his physical shield. Physical shield broken. We have a four cap as well. Let's kill this guy. Oh my... Shred it up. Kill these... Ba the Basilisk crate deals so much damage up close. Oh, this guy keeps taking off every time we want to shoot at him. Every single time, man. Okay, we're dropping down. Oh, we have no protection on the way down. Okay, close range. Hit my healing. Okay, Titan Slayer. Let's hit my healing too. A little bit of increased speed healing. Triple kill. One more. Yes, Rampage. We got the Rampage. Okay, there it is. We have a five cap. I'm going to go ahead and say we have the win here. Oh, can we not die? Okay, taking off again. I just hate the robot itself. It doesn't seem crazy overpowered. I just hate how it's pretty much indestructible in the sky. Can't they give it like 60% resistance while flying? Why do they have to give it borderline 100% force field resistance? Like, it's so dumb. I, it's, it annoys me so much. Nobody likes the Seraph ability. Like, it's just, it's overpowered and I don't want to see it in a tight... So there it is, guys. What do you think about the Raven adjustment? Love the Raven adjustment. The robot, the ether wish, you know, dialed back the resistance while flying. Peace. Cheese McNuggets. See you guys next time.